Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here with a process video. I haven't done one in a while, so I'm a little bit rusty, but here we go. So the first thing I'm doing is, well, I chose my photograph, which is a picture of one of the azaleas in our yard. It's a really beautiful azalea. And then I have the six by six paper is from the Dear Lizzie Serendipity. This vellum is from Gossamer Blue um, on my desk, I think. And then the background paper is from the crepe paper kiss kiss line so I'm just um, creating my layers on here and I'm going to mark off where that photograph is so I can cut out the center of that vellum because I don't want to waste a bit of it it's so pretty um, this picture is a picture of what what the yard um, people told us is a native azalea so it's native to this area and they're pretty rare because they just I guess there's just not that many around anymore. And during the winter when we bought the house, it was really like just a neckety tree. It was ugly. It didn't look like anything pretty at all. And then it started to get these little like green buds on the end, but the tree was still bare. There was no leaves or anything. It just had these little buds. And then they bloomed into these big, just beautiful flowers with these little sprays on them. They're so pretty. I've never seen anything like them. And so... Um, right at the height of their bloom, which was this past weekend, I took a picture, a bunch of pictures, and they were, there was a bunch of bumblebees around, which was really good because that means they're like being, they're going to pollinate. But anyways, so that's what the picture is. So I have a big assortment of embellishments here. Some of them are from the new Crate Paper Craft Market line. Some of them are from the Open Book line, like those frames, and that um, chipboard wreath there is from the notes and things maybe the beautiful I think is from the Chamel ephemera and the butterfly I think is from serendipity I'm not sure it's kind of a mix and some of them are from sticker sheets and I just um, use my little powder tool thing to get the, the sticky off so I can move them around the layout so my kind of purpose or design of this is just kind of a center cluster of all these different embellishments around the the flowers because there's only there's no people in the in the picture so I I, I guess I just because there's when when there's people in them I tend not to make make them so busy I don't know but when it's like an object I make them more busy I, I, I don't know if that makes any sense that just kind of seems to be how I my mind thinks I don't really know why but I'm just kind of zooming in here so you can see I haven't stuck anything down or adhered anything yet. Um, I'm just kind of figuring out where I want to place things. The uh, frame on the right, or the wreath on the right hand side in the background is from Heidi Swap. It's one of those mistable frames and I just cut it in half. So now I'm going to start adhering things. I'm going to use my tape runner for the photograph and then I will use my glue gun for most everything else just because I like the dimension that it gives things. It's not a whole lot, but it's just enough. And I also like how quick and easy it is. This glue gun, though, tends to get really, really hot, so I have to be careful. But And it gets stringy things everywhere. But you can just zap everything with your heat gun real quick, and it'll um, kind of melt those little thing, stringy things. Or you can pick them off, I guess. So, like I said, I'm just um, layering a bunch of different embellishments, mostly chipboard. There are a few um, flat embellishments, but I kind of prop them up so that they have a little more height. That um, piece I just put on there, I think, is from the uh, new Craft Market line from Crate Paper. It's really pretty. Lots of gold in this layout. And I wanted just a pop of another color besides pink and gold. So I chose that kind of teal color and this which that little beautiful embellishment set is that is the color and then that little floral or flower cluster has that same kind of teal in it and then I'm gonna bring in some more of that color right underneath this um, center point I'm gonna bring in some seam binding these little uh, butterfly embellishments are from the new pink paisley citrus what's it called our citrus bliss collection it's super cute the little chipboard pieces that one is too but I end up not using it because it's kind of a it's a real purpley pink and it doesn't really go with these pinks so now I have this piece of seam binding and I got um, 
I think it was like three yards of a few different colors from someone on Facebook, and I can't remember. It was a while ago. I haven't seen her selling it again, but I don't use it very much, and I just wanted a little bit to kind of play with, and I think I got like white, this color, and then I have like a real mint, like this is kind of a tealy mint, like a, a super mint green. It's really pretty. And then I think I have a yellow. Um, but I think a lot of people have seam binding. And I think if you get the white seam binding, you can dye it any color that you want. So I'm just kind of fiddling with this because it was wrapped around a tag. So it had all these creases in it. I think it usually comes on a roll, like if you get the whole thing, which would make sense because this material seems to crease really badly. I could have ironed it, but I just didn't feel like taking the time to do that. I probably should have. It probably would have looked better, but I ended up being pretty happy with the results. You have to be careful if you're using a glue gun, though, because the glue goes through the seam binding. So I'm trying to figure out my title here, and I was going to use these words, but I wanted it to say Azalea, and that wasn't going to work. So I'm using these new thickers from Pebbles. I think they're from the Jen Hadfield line. And I really love the contrast that it gives to the layout because they're kind of bold and graphic and almost like industrial looking as opposed to all of the pretty floaty floral pinks. I just, I really like the, the contrast and I like that. I feel like it grounds, it really grounds the layout. So I'm just going to adhere those with my uh, glue gun and then I'm going to drip some ink splatters with some India ink on it and that is going to finish the layout. So I hope you've enjoyed this process video. I'm going to have some close-up pictures for you here in just a second and uh, I really wanted to show in this layout how to combine all of these great new collections that are out because they kind of on their face I guess seem very different but uh, I think that that you can incorporate them into your style, mixing them all together and get some really cool, different looking projects out of it. So don't be afraid to mix everything up. And I just kind of go through, I keep a little bucket on my desk with all of my like newest product. And I just kind of pick through it and find anything that has the same like feel of the layout that I'm trying to make. I'm just doing a little roller date stamp here on a label from one of the sticker sheets. And I, I had like a dark pink one on there, but it was really distracting. So I decided to cover it with this gold one. And I had used my glue gun, so I couldn't take it off. But I just stamped the date on there. It wiggled a little, but I did use stays on, so it will dry and be permanent. Just doesn't look the greatest, but that's okay. So anyhow, um, I'm still making videos. If you thought that maybe I was going away because I had that huge D-stash sale, no, no. I just wanted to pare down everything to kind of the newest things that I had. I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed, so I just decided to clear things out. But I am still here, I'm still making projects, and I will have probably a process video every week for the next couple of months. So I hope you enjoy them, and I hope everyone is doing well. And stay tuned for close-up pictures of this layout. I'll talk to you guys real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.